let's talk time zones. You want to make sure that your time zone is set up within your business profile. If you work with people only in your time zone, then this is going to be perfect for you. It's going to be all set up. If you have customers that are outside of your time zone area that you service, then you're also going to want to understand how the time zone works inside of calendars. The first thing that we want to do in order to make sure that our time zone is correct is we want to go into the business profile. You will go into settings, then you'll go into the business profile. And over here on the right, you're going to see right down here, time zone. This is the time zone for your business. You want to make sure that you set up your time zone here and then select update. And I'm going to open up a demo calendar so that way you can see what's going on as I go through the training. When they get access to the link to schedule this calendar, you will see that it is saying pick a time and date. And right here, it's going to show that it is automatically set to Central Standard Time. And that's because my time zone is set to Central Standard Time. The person booking the appointment, if this is not their time zone, this is where they could select their time zone. So I'm just going to say Los Angeles here, and we'll say we're going to set this appointment for the 9th. Sample contact. We'll put in a phone number. We'll put in an email. Putting in the sample. There we go. I confirm that I want to consent. So remember, this is going to say Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to go ahead and book this as the potential person booking your appointment. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into that sample contact. And when you look down here, you're going to see on the left side, when you go into your general settings, you're going to see the time zone is now Los Angeles. And you'll see they got the confirmation. It says 2.30. So central time 2.30 would be 2.30, 3.30, 4.30. I'll say I'm viewing this contact. Now we've gotten their time zone. When I come over here to appointments, you'll see that my appointment is confirmed for 4.30. There's a two hour time difference. It shows up correctly because we listed in our business profile, central standard time zone. All of your incoming appointment bookings, schedulings are going to show your time zone, whereas theirs, when they book the appointment, will show their time zone and it automatically will add that time zone or update that that time zone to the contact. Let's go back to calendars. Then I'm going to go back into appointments and you'll see the confirmed time zone requested time is 430. Again, this is letting us know that that is our time zone. That is when we have the appointment set. So we're going to go over this more, but just as a recap, the first thing that you want to do is go into settings, go into business profile, make sure that you have your business time zone correct, and then everything else will fall into place when they set up their appointment their time zone, and add their contact information. Understanding how the time zone work is very important because your appointments are scheduled for your time zone. If you see any discrepancy, it's because your business profile isn't updated. When we go into setting up in calendars, the calendars do not show time zones in any of the settings because it automatically defaults to your business profile. And we're going to get into these details next. For right now, go make sure that your business profile company time zone is set and be sure to update. Then you'll be ready to start creating your calendars, knowing that they're going to be booking at your correct time. Oh,